<laughs> All right, let's talk about Venom. Yeah. And, um, personally, I liked it more than I think I should have. But me, I, me too, actually. Really? Yeah, did? I, yeah. yeah, yeah I, I expected, because I'd heard that it's just complete shit. Yeah. Uh, I hadn't read any reviews, but I'd heard that, that it wasn't good. So I, w I went in expecting sort of the yeah. worst. And it wasn't quite as bad, which is not to say that it was good, but... Yeah, but the thing is that it, it has like a... Within this sort of a larger shitty movie, there is this bubble <laughs> that is pretty good. And it's, it's you know, um, Brock and Venom interacting and just being this uh, sort of like this weird boogeyman thing in yeah, the streets. To... Subconscious. Yeah. Conscious level. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I agree. I, I think it had potential in that respect if they sort of centered the whole thing around yeah. that. Um, but the reason I wanted to talk about Venom was, was that in the context of Venom, how difficult it is to make a movie that sort of hits all the notes. Because a lot of things in Venom, I think on paper, uh, have looked quite promising. Yeah. It yeah. had a, a leading man who I really like, mm. who hasn't done, who hasn't really taken a lot of missteps from what I've seen, almost, no, almost anything yeah. that I've seen Tom Hardy in has been really, really good. Yeah. And in this, he plays sort of a kind of an every, every man character, which isn't his strongest suit. Mm. I think his most in interesting characters tend to be really sort of far out there yeah, that's in true. a way. But for example, um, I don't know if you've seen Locke, where he just no, sits just, in a no. car like for one and a half hours and talks. He's an everyman in that, but it's mm. a much more interesting, interesting everyman. Mm. There isn't that similar problem that you have here that, that's, that, that, that the character itself just doesn't quite, you know, th there isn't really anything, there isn't really any reason why they should have Tom Hardy in that role. That's true. And it, uh, I read a review of the movie and they were complaining about the the almost unbelievable unbelievably poor acting from people who usually are really good at acting yeah. like tom hardy and then um michelle williams they had really like almost zero chemistry it was almost um, i was watching at the scene when they're at this restaurant having dinner i was like watching at it i was like these are professional actors actresses i can't believe it, it it's, it's too shitty to really make it into a film because it it was so dull and i mean it has no had no um no real sense of a passionate affair going on there yeah there, there wasn't really i wasn't really surprised when they broke up and brock was like completely torn over the whole fact and I, I was that was unbelievable to me I no. thought that it would be more believable that they actually didn't care about no. each other at all I've never I've never really liked Michelle Williams um, she's one of those actresses that I have a I have a hard time um, sort of seeing the talent that it's I mean obviously she's talented but mm. she isn't as talented in my mind, that a lot of people think that she mm. is, um, but but I don't think that she was given that much to work with no, either. Almost nothing. I mean, I think that is the problem that these actors had, that they really had just like really you can say surprisingly, even though it is a comic book movie. Surprisingly little to work with, really. Yeah. And in this, um, the same article mentioned that it was sort of like a comic book from the early 2000s. And it's sort of true, because it's, it is really cliched. And, uh, a lot of money there, but... Yeah. And they used a lot of money to make it, and this multiple Venom thing, or... or they're not Venoms, they're these symbi symbiotes. symbiotes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it was so boring. Yeah. You, get this, you get the usual problem and everybody has been complaining about it for like 
a really long time about the problem of the villain mirroring the hero. And mm. it's a boring thing to do, really, because then you have this. It's, it's not interesting. It doesn't make for a dynamic, mm, uh, dynamic script about, the, about these two polar opposites. Yeah. Except maybe with, I mean, Joker and Batman sort mm. of are, oh, but in a way... Because it's not like evil Batman and good Batman. No, it's they're, they're, they're gay lovers. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's 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 true. And and for other things that were su- sort of supposed to work in the movie were, like you said, they had a lot of money. Mm. They had good actors. Uh, they had uh, they had a hip concept in a way that that you know, superhero movies are really making money now. Mm. But I think in the most cynical way, no. they'd sort of made this movie probably thinking that this is good enough. Mm. And that was one of the reasons why uh, Justice League came to mind yeah. when I watched it. Not only because there was a lot of CGI, just mm. shitty G- CGI yeah. going on that you don't really care about what's ha- what happens because the CGI is so badly made mm. and it... it isn't integrated into the story in a way that it's it's believable no. uh, to see or you know it, it just doesn't work. Mm. Um, so it, it it creates this. Uh, Finnish has a really good word for it, which is pixely mush, which no. is just you know shitty mush of pixelated, pixels, yeah. yeah, mushed together, and and that doesn't really look like anything else mm. than no. bad CGI. No. Um, so so but it, but it's it is i think that it is a really interesting idea to think that that even with this movie even with it's doubtless that it's like there's been like i don't know i i've seen nowadays in move in the ends of movies they some of the movies have like this kind of advertisement that this movie mm-hmm. helped uh, 15,000 people to get work or something no, like no. that and doubtless in this movie as well that's true mm. and even with that kind of effort with it going through this kind of system that's it th- th- it's <laughs> yeah. it's i mean and i i have no um i mean uh, hardy had himself partly produced the movie mm. so i have no doubt in my mind that they've had good intentions no. when they started making obviously they want to make money because mm. any kind of blockbuster has to make money mm. it's not that but it's just people usually tend to be passionate about passionate yeah. about these projects so even with that amount of work with that amount of passion it's comparatively little has to go to shit mm. for the whole thing no. to just become really mediocre no because that's 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 I think that's the word I I mostly associate with mm. Venom. Oh, There's nothing there that really warrants a second viewing. No, not really. Uh, and the only thing that really actually works, and the, probably the reason that Hardy has been into this, is that the dynamic with the between yeah. his character yeah. and the and the creature, mm. and that, like you said. That could have been a real, a, a big part of yeah. the film. If you're gonna stay, you will only hurt bad people. The way I see it, we can do whatever we want. Do we have a deal? And it would have been interesting in in, in ways of 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 just as a commentary mm. on how people uh, negotiate things mm. with their subconscious and and how yeah. we all inhabit different roles in yeah. different social situations and so on There's, there could have been so many of those parallels done no. there and, and I don't think that they really utilized any of it not really it was just banter mm. between and the problem is really I mean I don't know why they haven't figured it out yet with movies like Logan or Deadpool or um, um, uh, we can go to Marvel and look at something like Black Panther and stuff like that and um, or the new Spider-Man that sometimes less is a lot more. Yeah. I mean, you just you just focus on the good ingredients of the movie. Not every 
superhero movie has to be about saving the entire planet. Ant Man, and, for example. Yeah, yeah. I, I really liked Ant Man, both of the Ant Man, yeah. and it's, and with both those movies, it's about a really kind of a small yeah. scale thing. And it's really interesting to watch because the, when you don't have to worry about saving the world, you get so much more space that you can play with. And it's really nice. Yeah. But yeah, um, I don't, I, I can't really recommend Venom to anyone. You can sort of complete it as a set if you want to, if you're really into Marvel movies and mm -hmm. you want to see everything that's, that they've made. Yeah. And, and this isn't really a Marvel Universe movie because it's in, it's in collaboration with Marvel Studios. They've sort of, I think they've just given them free reign to do whatever and just tag their name on it. Mm. But it's in no way like a Kevin Feige no, no. produced thing. So um, it'll be interesting to see if they ever make the, the sequel with, with Woody Harrelson. They Carnage. probably will. It has made a lot of money. Yeah. Um, but in terms of just being a, a, an even decent superhero movie, I... No, it's not. It's, it's yeah. really, it's below decent. Yeah. Just like us, below decent, but still there, keeping up the light of the below decent people. <laughs>